Hi guys, so today I am doing a video with Strawberry Net. Um, they reached out to me to work together and I was a bit hesitant at first. So I've heard of Strawberry Net, I don't know if you guys have, um, but Strawberry Net is a website full of beauty, things like candles, hair products, makeup, makeup tools, all that stuff, fragrance. Um, and they have a lot of stuff and they have a lot of discounts and I've heard some mixed reviews. So when they reached out to me, I was a bit hesitant. I looked into it and I couldn't find anything that really said like, you know, they're like, stay away. So I decided, okay, you know what? Um, I will try some of their products and report back. These products I did get for free. Um, but you guys know I'm going to be 100% honest. So I was a bit nervous about buying things like skincare and things like that. What I've heard in the past is that some of their products are old. That's what I've heard. Um, so I did anything I bought that was like something that you put on your skin, on your face or whatever. I did check the date on cosmeticcheck.net. I think that's what it's called. So we will go through that. But we're going to go from everything to the ordering process to the prices, the brands, everything. To start out, the ordering process is easy but weird. Um, the website definitely feels like it needs an update. If you're used to shopping on websites like Target, Ulta, um, Sephora, then shopping on this website would make you feel a little questionable. Some of their discounts aren't like, you know, 15%, 20%, or 12%, things like that. And some of the products are definitely, I don't want to say things that are um, discontinued, but they're not always their most popular products. So, you know, they sell brands from, you know, like CoverGirl all the way to Urban Decay, um, you know, YSL, things like that. Um, they have plenty of cruelty-free brands, but they don't sell like the whole brand. So although they are an authorized seller that it says on their website, um, it's not like how Sephora might sell every single item from Urban Decay. They sell specific items. Like there were some things that I was looking for, hoping to try, that they didn't have. And although they do have a lot of discounts, some things aren't really that discounted. There was a cologne I really wanted to get, and it was the same price as it would be at any other kind of department store. So I didn't get that, but some of the things I got were pretty good, well discounted. Um, I got quite a few things, and what they did is they gave me $100 to spend on their website. I believe I used only 80 of that, um, and they do have free shipping and... You know, like I said, lots of different discounts, but I'm going to get into some of the products I got. So from the ordering perspective, like I said, it was interesting. It wasn't too complicated, but at checkout, there are other options that make you think, hmm, this obviously isn't like a fully American website and it's not. All these products did come from China. Once the order was placed, it took five days to get to me, which is really, really fast, even coming, especially actually coming from China. Um, so that was really quick. It shipped pretty much the next day and then like three to four days later it arrived from DHL. It also came in a box, a simple box, um, and everything was well packaged. I did like, you know, look at it and make sure everything was right. Um, so it had plenty of like bubble wrap, things like that to keep everything from breaking. Um, I do think it could be more sustainable. But I will show you what I got. So let's open the box. So the first thing right at the top is an eyelash curler, which I was very excited to get. It is the Sheer Mira eyelash curler which is one that everyone has raved about since like the beginning days of youtube but it's expensive it's not something i would spend most of my eyelash curlers have not been over ten dollars um and this one was on a good discount so this is the classic one i haven't used it yet because i literally haven't worn makeup that's another thing i only got like one makeup item just because right now with the pandemic i wear more makeup like six times since march so um i really haven't needed much of that kind of product but this came nicely you know in a nice box it does have the chinese writing on it i don't know if that's normal i don't know if that's like i bought this from like sephora or something if it would be like that so i am not sure it comes in this bag you have the lash curler it comes with an extra little pad um, it feels really nice and sturdy. I mean, honestly, I don't really know. It feels good, but it doesn't feel much different than like an elf one. So I don't know if this is just like, oh, everyone like it's fancy. People bought it or if it's going to really be like life changing. Um, and that's not really on, you know, Strawberry Net. That's obviously on the brand. That was the first thing I got. That was actually the first thing I put in my cart. Next was a mascara. Now, this is one that I was a bit skeptical about. So this is from the brand Bourgeois, which is um, very... Um, not common it's a brand in europe or england this is a waterproof mascara it's called maxi frange um and it has two different sides so one would be a primer and one would be the mascara um it's really like my up my alley this is the kind of mascara i always like um 
but of course because it's something you're putting near your eye I was a bit hesitant to order it from a website I'm not familiar with so what I did is I checked the numbers on here with cosmeticcheck.net and there were two things so there's two different websites that you can check the date of when your cosmetics were on like the batch code for when it was you know made and one website said this was made in 2015 which would mean it's bad and I should not use it but when I went to the other website, it said it was made in January 2019, which means it's perfectly fine. But underneath that, it said there's another meaning to this number, 2015. <sighs> I don't know. I'm thinking it's the January 2019, because why would that even come up if it wasn't true? So I'm pretty sure it was January 2019. I'm not afraid to try this. I will be trying this mascara. So that was just like a little bit of like an iffy thing. When I first saw the date of 2015, I was like, oh no, like that sucks. Um, another thing that made me nervous was just like the writing on this tube it looks very like it was printed on a computer and like really weird. It's like off center. Um, it's very bizarre. Even just like the font is weird. And I was like, that looks sketchy. But with more research I've done, um, that's just how this product looks. So, okay. And then I got two candles from the brand Voluspa. Voluspa right? I'm saying that right. Um, this is a brand that has like really, really nice candles, really nice scents. So that would be this one. It is Centau Vanille. It is the same scent as the Curl Collection from Kristen S. It looks like this. It is a small candle. Um, this wasn't like a cheap candle, but for a brand like this, like this is gorgeous. You know, you can save this, put poppy pins in it when it's done, like do whatever you want. This smell is absolutely amazing. Like, oh my god. It smells so good and um, the packaging is lovely like this is a legit product I can just tell you right now because I have had these candles in the past um, so I'm really happy with that I also got another one I don't know if I'm gonna give it as a gift or keep it but this is the one in Baltic Amber it's like a gold and black packaging oh that smells so good too oh it's so good it's so good so those two I was really happy with and we're gonna get into some more tools so I got this which is something very bizarre not everyone's gonna be like you know this is something I would buy but it is from Tweezerman and it is an ingrown toenail file. So TMI, I get ingrown nails. I've literally had them removed professionally multiple times and even like a permanent professional removal and it didn't take. So what this is, is technically a nail file, but instead of for the top, it goes into the side and kind of files it down to help with ingrown nails, to soften the shape and to kind of make sure that the nail isn't growing into the skin. Um, so I haven't used it yet, but it looks perfectly, you know, good. There is also a lot of transport obviously going on with these products. If it was made in India, shipped to China, and then shipped to me. So that doesn't make me feel too great, but the product itself seems totally good. <laughs> Another Tweezerman product. I've never had Tweezerman tweezers, if you can believe it. Um, and I definitely need a new pair. I have two pairs of like, you know, cheap drugstore tweezers and they are on their last legs so i found this on their website and so what it is it's a, a smaller size but it has their normal slanted tweezers and then uh pointed tweezers which are ideal for ingrown hairs which i get a lot again tmi and it also comes with like this little magnetic pink purple pouch that you can see in here so i can store them in there and like travel it's really great. This was packaged really nicely. I got a dry brush, which I was super excited about. Um, I, I've wanted one for a while. This is from the brand Frownies, which I believe are those like face stickers that help with wrinkles. Um, so it has this nice strap here. It's wooden or bamboo. Um, it has some rubber um, <laughs> bristle things and the regular ones. This feels super, super, super nice. The one thing that was weird about this, it didn't come in a box or anything like how everything else came in a box. It simply came in this bag. So not sure what that's about. That could be totally normal though. And one more product, which is probably the one I'm the most suspicious about because I couldn't check the um, batch code because there like any isn't neither of the websites that you use to check batch codes had this brand. So this is a Laneige. Um, Laneige is a brand that I love for their lip sleeping mask. I'm sure most of you already know what the lip sleeping mask is. I have the regular one, I have a couple of mini ones, and this is the one in mint choco, so mint chocolate. And that's like an amazing smell, I'm, I'm obsessed with it. Now, everything, no, I don't really know how to describe this, but when I first got the Laneige lip sleeping mask, I was looking into it on different websites, on Amazon and things like that. A lot of comments and reviews claimed that it was a fake product, that it wasn't the same product, that there was certain writing on it that made it not the same, and things like that and I ended up just getting it from Sephora to stay safe. Now this looks a bit different than the one I have. I have to be honest and I've compared it to different pictures online and it does look different. It says a lip sleeping mask that provides smooth firm lips uh, by gently melting away dead skin on the lips overnight with a refreshing mint cocoa scent, choco scent um, and it smells really good. like just opening the box, literally just opening the box. 
I can smell it. It smells amazing. Um, this is the little thing. It's super cute, but the front is what looks different. The font is different and it doesn't have all the information that the regular one has. Let me see if I can actually find the one I have that I bought from Sephora and see if I can compare it. So this is the one I have from Sephora and this is the one I got from Strawberry Net. Now the back looks different, the front looks different, everything looks different. This one also feels a lot heavier than this one. Um, the packaging seems pretty much the same. Um, they both say they're good for 12 months. They both have 20 grams. They both say they're from the Amore Pacific Corporation. They both say made in Korea. There. So you can see the font. There's a lot more words on this one. It just looks different. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I trust it like 95%, but there's a little bit of me that's like, eh, I don't know. It does come with the paper, little booklet that the regular one comes with, and it also comes with a little spatula. Um, so m most of me is saying like, this is just a different packaging because it's from a different country. And so right now, I don't think I'm going to um, do a continued partnership with them, although I am happy with everything I received and you know the experience was fine it just makes me a little bit nervous i think just looking at their website because it looks so different and because they only have certain products from certain brands i don't know it just makes me feel uneasy i also am trying to cut down on my product intake right now i just feel so unsure the products like i said are fine there's no evidence of anything if you've used strawberry net and you've paid and used your card let me know what your experience was because of course my experience was with a you know with a code that gave me these products for free so as happy as i am with the products and like geez louise are these nice like these candles are amazing and you know and as much as i am sure these are the legit brands um and legit products and everything like that like i do believe it is legit i do like there's so many questions if you type in strawberry net on google you will see the first thing that comes up is strawberry net legit and i'm gonna say yes but it feels not, and I feel like that is where my issue lies. They, if they kind of updated their website, made it look a little bit more user-friendly, make it look a little bit more common, um, I wouldn't feel that way, but that is the way that the website kind of makes me feel. Just kind of like, what is it, like Shein and things like that. The woman who I spoke to from the brand was fantastic. She was wonderful and totally understanding and everything about my hesitancy. Um, and like I said, I am impressed with all these products. I just don't know. It's just like a like a weird feeling. So um, I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I hope I showed you some of the kind of products they have. That is it for this video. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed it and it helped you out. Like I said, please let me know your experience with Strawberry Net in the comments. Um, I'd love to know your take. And um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.